Hello there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. On today's episode, we've got this. It's the Wolfer LGV Air Rifle in 177 caliber. LGV have been making spring air guns for 50 years, always wanting to develop more accurate spring rifles. They believe that part of the basis of the accuracy is on the hinge system in brake barrel rifles, and this is presented in the positive locking system, which is now employed in the Wolfer LGV, giving consistent accuracy over and over again. Not to mention all the action taking place inside the rifle, such as the rotary piston ring, the synthetic cocking aids, and the match grade trigger. In fact, Walther have taken the time to make lots of internal movement videos, which can be found in the link in the description box below. Now that's all the blurb from the company website, but does it actually make any difference whatsoever? I mean, I could tell you that I was Superman. Some of you might believe me. Anyway, we need to put this to the test and actually see if all that technology makes any difference at all. The version I have here is the Challenger, which is the synthetic version, and it's the base model of the LGV range. Not to worry though, as they all have the same internal workings across the range, with stock quality increasing with price through the different models. If I did have one complaint about the synthetic stock, it's that it does mark easily. But then again, that's what they're there for. Looking at the LGV, it has some nice touches, such as the high grip finish on the fore end and stock, True Glow fibre sights, automatic trigger safety, and adjustable match trigger. With a 40 cm barrel, the rifle is not cumbersome, and although it packs a punch with the weight at 3.8 kilos, it feels incredibly sturdy and well built. This is a very good looking rifle, from tip to rubber shoulder pad. I just hope it performs as good as it looks. I could test the rifle with open sights, but I need to see further than 10 metres, so I'm going to use my trusty Hawk Night Eye Scope and see what group I can get at 20 metres. I've also put many types of pellets through the LGV so I can choose the best performer. At 20 metres, you're looking at PCP accuracy, and you're going to say to me, no it isn't, and I'm going to say to you, yes it is, look, there's the evidence, particularly those three groups there, and I'm not carrying a bottle or a pump. Even though I got a flyer on the JSB Blues, I'm still going to go with that as my pellet of choice, because the flyer was me and not the rifle. Yes, at 30 metres, the group does spread out a little bit. It's a spring rifle, but everything is still inside the circumference of a one pound coin. At 30 metres, with a spring rifle. That's astonishing. I'm now going to try something I've never tried before. 50 metres with a spring air rifle at an egg. And I'm only going to give it half a mil dot because I think that's all it needs. And the noise from all that technology inside, what do you get? Sounds pretty quiet to me. And what about the vibration reduction system? Simple test. We're going to shoot it off the rest without even holding on to the rifle. There you can see that yes, there is still some movement backwards. You'd have to expect it. But there's no upward kick or kick to the right or to the left. The rifle has a small amount of recoil and the pellet is sent on its way. 
although I would still recommend fitting a silencer onto the front of the rifle if you're taking it out hunting. So has all that technology improved the standard concept of a spring air rifle? Yes. Yes, it has. And it's a cracking bit of kit. Some of you will say, why are you getting so excited about that spring air rifle? Surely you're just making an advert for Walther LGV. No, no, I'm not actually, because no one pays me. No one pays me at all. I do these videos for free. In fact, it's my hobby. At 20 meters, you get PCP accuracy. Out to 30 meters, you're in the kill zone. And at 50 meters, you can still knock targets over. If you're not seriously considering this as your next spring air rifle, then you've made a big mistake.